Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're viewing this Wild Power Madness Energy drink. So I got this out of a random corner shop and I can't remember the price because it wasn't price marked, but I think it was around the you know, one pound, one pound, probably 10, 20 mark usual. And yeah, I saw it in and I thought, what on earth is this? So I picked it up, took a close look and it turns out it is uh, some random energy drink. So I picked it up and thought, why not review it and see how it tastes. Anyways, let's give you guys a 4360 of the packaging. Now the can has got that kind of, it's got that kind of matte, matte uh, feel to it which is really nice. It gives it much more of a premium feel rather than, uh, you know, just small, or not small, but, you know, standard metal, sorry, I say standard metal, uh, you know, kind of coating. This has got a nice matte feel to it. So we've got, an, in fact, an incredible looking can actually. So most of the can is black, as you can see. Now on the back, we have a barrage of about 8,000 different languages. I'll get to that in a second. I mean, that is a lot of font that I had to see through, but yes, there's a lot of stuff there. And then on the front, We'll get everything orange as well, the font and stuff. Now I've got the Wild Power kind of logo and font, which does look fairly cool. And I've got a picture of this kind of, I guess, tiger looking thing with two eyes either side. So it does look really, really cool. Really well done designing on the artwork on this. I really, really like it actually. And then the madness at the bottom as well. I don't know whether they're trying to copy Monsters uh, fonts with that kind of style, but um, nevertheless, the tiger itself is just really freaking awesome. Just an awesome looking cam. Don't have to see orange design cans anymore do you and um on the bottom it's nothing and on the top everything is all black and the pour rings all finished off in a nice shiny black as well so anyways taking a closer look at the can so it's a 500 mil can which is again standard for the big cans uh, around the top we've got the taurine uh ginseng some other stuff going around the top now this is actually a turkey energy or turkish energy drink it says made in turkey I might not be a Turkish energy drink as such, but this was, it was made in Turkey and it is halal as well, if anyone is wondering. And there's the um, there's the badge. So, after going through the stuff and figuring out what on earth's what, I figured out it has 4.24 grams of sugar power and 100 ml, so it is about that half sugar, um, yeah, just below the half sugar range. Uh, vitamins are niacin, vitamin B6, uh, panophenic acid and riboflavin. So looking, as I said, I had to look at the actual ingredients. Now it's kind of got everything in, I think three or four different languages, all in one big sentence. So it was a bit confusing, but I figured out the sweeteners are aspartame and sulfame K. And then the caffeine content in total is 150 milligrams in total. It hasn't got it per 100 mil, just the uh, total amount. But apart from that, yeah, I have no idea what flavour it's meant to be. No doubt it's probably going to be a standard original flavour, although I could be completely wrong because these do really come out on top sometimes and are surprising at how nice they are. But as far as I'm concerned, so I really have no idea what's what. Anyways, it's nice and cold. I've got my Zesty Lime Studios cup. So nevertheless, let's open it and hopefully it doesn't explode over me. So like I said, I don't know what flavour it's going to be, so I've got to guess which colour it's going to be. So I'm guessing it's either going to be your standard apple brown kind of colour, or it's going to be orange. And I say orange because obviously the can is orange, but generally they do keep the colour and theme in the can generally on the same track, if it's not the standard apple type colour energy drink colour. Anyways, let's open it. No explosions, which is good. Cool, pretty tough pull ring. Ouch, made an indent in my finger, as you can see. Right, and the color is? Surprise, surprise, there we go. There we are, put that to one side. So quite a lot of foam on the top of this one here, actually. Yeah, quite a lot of bubbles and foam on the top, taking a little while to go. Oh yeah, definitely a lot of foam. And then we at the top there, and quite a few small bubbles on the side. So I said it guys, the colour is a standard kind of apple type wee colour, which is you know, just the colour of apple juice. And it's kind of see-through as you can see my face, hello, through the drink. But yeah, just a standard apple type colour. And taking a quick load to put them up to my light, yeah, it's just um, no bits in there or anything in there. So it's just as it is. Anyways, let's give it a closer smell and see what it smells of. Yep, just smells like your bog standard original energy drink. 
I told you guys it was going to be flavoured or it was going to be just a standard original flavour or smell. Both. Yeah, it just smells, just smells like bog standard. Cool, well, I think we should know what to expect here. Nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Yep, it pretty much or it is standard energy drink flavor. Great. <laughs> it's quite it's quite nice though. I, I will say it does taste more like of your definitely more premium style standard energy drink flavor. I will give it that 100%. Hmm. Yeah. I mean I kept drinking it so it must be nice. But I said you can't beat the standard these kind of the original energy drink flavor at the end of the day they're kind of just your classic long-term island flavor that always was kind of there and always has been there but anyways yeah ultimately guys it is just a standard original flavor as i pretty much guessed and said it would be which ultimately though is not a bad thing it, well i don't know you know i mean it's not a bad thing ultimately as long as it tastes nice which is what which is what this one does and as i said this definitely tastes more of an up, up market premium one again i have no idea how big this brand or what on earth company brand energy drink that is out in Turkey or these other countries. Of course, if you're watching this and I'm coming across as um, ignorant, it's not ignorant because, you know, we just don't have these drinks over here in England unless you find them in a random corner shop. So we have literally no idea. But um, yeah, it certainly tastes better than like your beer shopper and your boost and your merge and stuff like that. In, I'm really thinking it does taste a lot more up there like i said on the premium side which is again which is surprising from from a just a completely random drink i picked up you know in a shop but um the sugar seems to be spot on as well because it still feels like a full sugar drink again even though it's got the half sugar and the half sugar is obviously a lot less than full sugar but half sugar is still you know a fair amount in the grand scheme of things and i'm glad it doesn't taste disgusting because i've said this many times now that generally a lot of these half sugar drinks coming out now they just don't taste right or they just taste they just don't taste right like my personal opinion is that they should either keep it to zero sugar or give it full sugar don't kind of mess about in between but this one even for being half sugar the blend is a really nice blend because of that which i'm pleased by because i kind of did have in my head oh you know we go half sugar it's not going to taste great blah 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 but no it's actually yeah got a fairly nice cook to it which i can't really complain at Ultimately, not much else to say about it, you know, apart from, yeah, there's no chemical taste, artificial tastes with it, no metallic tastes or anything like that, which is which is brilliant. It's just a, a lot more nicer, original energy drink flavour, which is great. So, so yeah, really can't say much more about that. So, I think, how many Zesties shall I give this out to 10? I think, I think I'll give it a, I think, based on original energy drink flavours, I think I'll give this a good, a good eight to points of view. Yeah, a good eight because way better than your cheaper brands, better than your mid range. So yeah, nice good eight zesties out of 10. Well, as always yours. If you have got any more information on this drink, you know, if you're in Turkey or wherever, please let me know in the comments below what your view is on this drink. But as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.